What's going on guys? My name is Richard Moglin and today I'm going to show you guys how to build your very own Raspberry Pi a security camera slash ring doorbell. And for this project, obviously you're going to need a Raspberry Pi and you're going to need a Raspberry Pi video camera that looks just like this. Um, and honestly, the hardest part of this project is probably connecting this Raspberry Pi camera to the uh, port right here. This is very finicky, uh, so be very careful with that. Um, and other than that, you're just going to need some software that I'll go through after the demonstration. And this basically whole setup will be able to alert you when somebody approaches your house, um, take pictures, send them to your email, um, notify you via text using Twilio, and then finally upload a basically video stream to your Dropbox. Um, and before we get into the demonstration, I do want to give a brief overview of kind of this whole process. Uh, so first things first, we're going to start with um, the Raspberry Pi just taking pictures over and over that are going to look just like this. Then we're going to kind of mask that image to basically reduce the area that the algorithms need to cover to check for kind of differences in between the pictures. Then we're going to basically set it to grayscale and blur it out. And again, this just kind of takes away um, all the unnecessary detail in the images. And if there's enough difference between two different images, it will trigger basically the email alerts, text alerts, and start recording a 30 second video. Uh, so that's kind of the basic um, methodology that we're gonna cover. And now let's give a brief demonstration. Okay, so we're ready to start the demonstration. And you can see I don't have an MP4 file in Dropbox or a recent email since 1.17 p.m. Uh, so let's go ahead and run the program. And I'm out of range now and I'm starting to walk towards the door. And there it detected me. So now it stopped. It's going to be recording the 30 second video. And there you go. And now upload the video. I'm going to head inside. And there you go. You can see the email just came through at 1.26 p.m. And there is the MP4. And here is the text from Twilio. And I've also got the email notification there. All right, so now that you've seen the system in action, let's go ahead and briefly take a look at the code that powers this Raspberry Pi security camera. So first of all, over here in the top left, we've got all the relevant Python libraries that we're gonna use. And then scrolling down, we've got the main function that we're gonna need. And this mask image function basically post processes any image we send it to mask out the relevant area, um, resize it, convert it to grayscale, and then blur it out to basically get rid of all that unneeded information. And that function is called in this main while loop. Um, and we have a counter to basically keep track of how many times this loop has run. And in this command right here, we basically um, cause the Raspberry Pi camera to take a still image. And right here is where we're gonna save those captured images. And we save it in pairs so we can compare one image to another. Um, and then once we've passed those two images through the mask image function, we've got two post-processed images to compare to basically tell if there's enough of a difference to cause the alarms to trigger. Um, and that comparison is done in these um, nested for loops right here that basically goes through each pixel in both images and compares them against each other. Um, and if that detector total is greater than this 4,000 threshold, which I found to be best, um, we basically notify the user that somebody is approaching the door. Um, and first of all, we cause um, a uh, video to be recorded, a 30 second long video, um, and then we save the relevant um, images that the user would like to see, and we upload that MP4 video to Dropbox using Dropbox Uploader. And next up, we've got the email to the user that will basically send those images to them so they can see whether or not it's the mailman or potentially an intruder. And then down here is where we send that Twilio text message to just send another way um, of basically notifying the user. So that is pretty much the project. I wanna thank Dr. Mitchell for creating these tutorials for us to use. Um, and if you're curious about more engineering projects, I've got my remote camera slider right here and also my Internet of Things connected quadcopter. Uh, so check those videos out if you want to. But other than that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.